board, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. That's going to go as a loss of six, and it will set them back for second down. It's Barkley on the counter. Room here to run. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. But not much defensive resistance on that drive. And really, Charles, the way this offense has been humming, they haven't faced much defensive resistance the entire game. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that one team, their defense did not wake up and make it to the stadium for this one. There may be some major changes on that side of the ball when we see them the next time out. Gano now to add the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Smith on first down. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Holding offense. Bobby Massey, the right tackle, called for the on, penalty there. On. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Out of the gun, Smith. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for a second down. A shotgun snap for Smith. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing again to Smith. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Xavier McKinney. Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. For the winning team here, Charles, and that's about as big and clean of a win as you could hope for in the National Football League. No turnovers. Well, you mean while you force turnovers, you didn't allow any points, and you put up a bunch of points. What an effort. And, Brandon, I just have to ask you, that's all the stuff that we saw happen today. Those are statistics, numbers, the whole deal. But my question is, how does one team come ready to play and the other one, obviously, not ready at all? Well, I mean, I obviously don't have an answer to that, but that was the story from the get-go. One side was awake and ready, and the other just seemed to sleep. So for the Giants, they continue to cruise as they move to 8-0 now on the campaign. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Seattle, the struggles intensify as they drop to 2-6 and six now on the year. And they'll try to rebound next week as they head to Glendale to take on the Cardinals.